Okay, Meg Thee Stallion is having a possible Rihanna moment. Um, she was in a car with her best friend and Tory Lanez. It was at a party with Kylie Jenner. Um, they got into an argument. I don't know how well it's being reported that they were fighting, they were arguing, they were uh, on the on the brink of Meg the Stallion breaking up with Tory Lanez, which has been like some kind of secret relationship that not many people knew about. Um, she ends up shot in the foot. She ends up shot in the foot in the car with two other people, the best friend and Tory Lanez. Now, if nobody shot into the car, somebody was shooting from inside the car and they kind of are not saying his name as a part of the investigation publicly yet. They're not saying Tory Lanez shot her whether it was on accident or on purpose, it definitely put her in danger, put her life in danger out of commission. Um, this is above kind of no snitching because <sighs> they're not gang bangers. So it's like, I don't know if they have a loyalty to keep that, um, especially if it could affect her permanently as an artist, you know, what if what if they can't get her dexterity back in her foot where she has to limp for the rest of her life? Who knows? I had a friend that got his foot mangled in college. It was some kind of accident where it was like a nail went through his foot and he's forever had to limp. He's He's always had a limp after that because it was, I don't know what they didn't do at that time, but it caused him a lot of pain and he also just could not ever walk straight again. So I'm wondering um, with technology advancing and her having maybe better doctors and more money to, you know, be worked on, maybe she'll get 100% full recovery because she liked to dance and twerk and all of that. It's going to be hard for her to do that hobbling. So, <laughs> you know, I think that it's good that she's made it and it didn't, the bullet didn't go anywhere else, but it's just the idea. Is this like her Rihanna and Chris Brown moment? Is this a domestic violence situation? Do you consider this? Is this something where he's arguing with her and he pulls out a gun just to like show what he could do or, or just to scare her a little bit? I don't know, but is that a Chris Brown, Rihanna situation? Um, it's similar, but this is a moment where she can use it in her benefit. Like Rihanna did, Rihanna literally used this in her benefit. She became like an international superstar, even more so after that. And she kind of stood behind domestic violence and she took him back for a little bit. And then she realized how that was hurting her brand to go back with Chris Brown after the fact. But I think that she has all the support that she needs in terms of this recovery, but she has to be honest with herself. This is a moment. This is a moment. Not even throwing Tori under the bus because at this point, it doesn't matter if a guy like shot a girl in the foot, like, even on accident, that was just a dumb thing to do. It was stupid. Like, I was just finding out who Tory Lanez was. Like, really, I didn't know who he was. I didn't know what hits, because artists are now not defined really by their hits. It's like they have a underground following, or they might be having a circuit following where they do a lot of concerts and do a lot of festivals and music fests and all of that, where people know them more so than their records that they're selling or the hits that rise to the top 10 of the Billboard charts. Um, I don't know. Megan already was in something with her record label. I just don't, I, I just don't like that she's, she might not be putting herself in the best spaces and places that she needs to. Like she, I feel like she needs some guidance because it's too many close issues with her career that since she's starting, it has to be carefully uh, carefully maintained and handled in order for her to reach certain heights. 
for, uh, for it to last a little bit longer. So you let me know what you think about Meg. I hope Meg it has a full recovery because I know somebody that didn't. So hopefully she won't be limping and hobbling and all of that. So you let me know how you feel about Megan getting shot and possible uh, fingers point to Tory Lanez being the one with the gun in the car. I don't know how they're going to explain away that. If it's a domestic situation and he was bold enough to threaten her with a gun, she has to use this moment as a way to educate with violence, domestic violence and different things like that. So you let me know how you think about uh, what you think about Meg the Stallion. Uh, my name is Darrell. My social media handles hit those up. Also, I have a website called scaredthelight.com and two books currently out now. One is called The, the Brown Paper Bag Boys and the Colorism Experiment. And the other one's called Scare of the Light. This is a fantasy fiction series that will have about seven books. Um, you can check those out. Um, feel free to subscribe, hit the bell, all of that. Thank you so much. I'll see you later in the next video. Peace.